It's 619 now about your health. With breast cancer, you feel a lump and know to get it checked out. But ovarian cancer is a silent killer. Few specific <laughs> symptoms are, are apparent in the early stages, but by the time symptoms do show up, it's more advanced. Now, a new screening process may be able to detect the disease at an early, more treatable stage. Joining us now is Dr. Paul Sang from Providence Cancer Center. Good morning, doctor. Good morning. Well, let's start with the basics. What should we know about ovarian cancer and who is most at risk? Well, ovarian cancer um, impacts um, women in the 50 to 60 age group range. And uh, often the symptoms are nondescript. You have bloating, um, indigestion, abdominal pain, bladder and bowel problems. And these are symptoms that uh, often are confused with other uh, problems or more common problems. So therefore, uh, women are diagnosed late. Uh, 70% of women with ovarian cancer are diagnosed in late stages, stage 3 and 4. And that's what makes uh, ovarian cancer so deadly and so notorious as uh, something that uh, is often feared. Well, tell us about this new screening process being studied. Does it involve a blood test and an ultrasound, and how can it detect early-stage ovarian cancer? Well, there are screening tests, uh, blood tests specifically, CA125, OVA1, uh, a battery of um, tumor markers that can help detect ovarian cancer, but often this is not used for the general public. So um, they are... um, what we call uh, too many false positives, tests that show something is um, going to be suspicious, but it doesn't really pan out to be a real cancer. And and often these tests um, uh, make you get other tests like uh, surgery. So some, these tests uh, in and of themselves can lead to expensive tests and surgery that you may not need. You have a, a free talk that's coming up on ovarian cancer want to find out when that is, and also, uh, most important, is ovarian cancer treatable? Uh, Absolutely. It's not only treatable, but it's curable. Uh, It doesn't happen in the majority of cases, but uh, newly diagnosed ovarian cancer treated correctly with surgery followed by chemotherapy can be curable. Uh, Recurrent ovarian cancer is um, uh, more appropriately called treatable. Sometimes it's treated like a chronic disease. You can live a long time with ovarian cancer. And what about your uh, upcoming talk? When is the, that? The talk is going to be um, at the Providence Cancer Center Amphitheater on September 26th at 6.30 p.m. Uh, I'll be there from Compass Oncology. There will be a Dr. June Ma who will be talking about latest research developments and Nancy Ledbetter who will be talking about uh, genetics and those um, uh, um, people who may benefit from genetic screening and then uh, offer preventative uh, uh, management uh, schemes. Dr. Paul Sang from Providence Cancer Center. Dr. Sang, thank you for joining us on FM News 101. You bet. Thanks.